Hello guys, welcome to my channel, Mr. Jefferson Bonafide. On today's tutorial, I am going to be showing you how to use this small chip called the LM35. I took this nano photography picture that I did myself of this kind of, but it looks like a transistor, but it's not the same layout. This pin in here will be your positive, five volts that will be your the pin the middle pin will be connected to your analog pin on the Arduino and the last one will be ground okay so this is how it looks this is the layout and let's jump right into it now so the reason why I believe this is very good is because it can be used in different scenarios. For example, one of the reason why I'm using it is because my I have a goldfish tank and I have different species of fish. I got two, three different species of fish and they have to end the tropical fish. And they have to be at a certain temperature, like body temperature is 37, 35 degrees. So This is a screenshot of my phone that I took earlier. I took it at that time in particular. This is the same date. The video is going to be updated at the same date to make sure everything goes according to plan. Okay. So this is the temperature for today. So if uh, this is the, going to be the test I'm going to be using once the code and everything has been used correctly. The, the device itself, the temperature sensor, is not very, very sensitive, it's not very, very accurate. So we have to do something to the code to make it as accurate as possible. So that temperature was that you see here, 8 degrees or 9 degrees to 4, was basically being measured in the morning and in the afternoon. Now in the afternoon, it's still more or less the same, it's varying between 9 and 10 or 9.8 and so on okay so you have basically one one degree of difference minus or plus okay the system is quite accurate it's not the best one but it's accurate enough if you don't have any any other sources as you can see right now i have it connected and it's measuring okay so let's jump into the code and let me tell you how it works so at the top of the code, you can see that I have the connections, the ones I just displayed. So this is basically facing you the same way as this way. So can you see the flat side, the lettering is facing you. So then it shows that we have the middle pin goes to analog pin zero. We have the left, which is your five volts, and your right, which is your ground. Okay, that's the way it should be connected. You don't need to see that, so as long as you know that, it's fine. Very easy. So now let's jump into the actual code. I have in pin, which is zero. This is the analog pin, my temperature, my the samples. I'm going to take five samples every so often. And this is just a variable that I'm using. Then we open the void set up the serial begin so we know where we where where we, where I'm going to be actually seeing my information as you can see now it's reading the information I got is working uh, well so here we have four so I have i my variable here which is equal to zero for the time being if i is lower than four it will be going up in increment one then we close that so that basically just uh some that's something that i needed for my loop for it to work okay so sample i which are here uh, is equal to the equation needed for it to base the basically temperature is based between five volts and zero volts and it uses this equation to calculate what kind of degrees is using okay at the beginning this was my initial number but it didn't work really accurately so i had to change it to this number to work to my convenience 
Okay, so that number now works to very, very well. Very, very well for me. So now all I'm specifying here is my temperature is going to be equal to to this temperature, which is comes from here, which is going to be zero. But then my a plus my samples I. Then I place a delay. Then my temperature, which is this one, is going to be equal. No, sorry. This is a new temperature. Temperature C, which is going to be this guy. C is that guy. Okay. So whatever that temperature is, is going to be that divided by the five volts. That gives me a more accurate reading. Then in here, this is what I'm going to print. So we can actually see the Celsius. Then I tell it to print the temperature, which is going to be this guy there. That's printed, which is this guy here. And then it's going to be printed in numbers, decimals. Okay. And it has a delay of 50. The code is here. So you can just pause the video and copy it and then type it up. Okay, now I'm going to open the serial. Right, so now, as you can see, it's running and it's reading 37. Right now, I have the sensor under my armpit, which is basically measuring 37. Normal body uh, heat is 37 Celsius and that is why it's reading 37. I don't want it to be 37 point something, 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 because that will just confuse me. I want a general reading, as the sensor is not 100% accurate. So as you can see, it's reading now 37, because it's under my armpit, and it's my body heat is 37 Celsius. Now, I'm going to take it outside my, my armpit, and you'll see the temperature start dropping quite quickly. As you can see, 34, 33, 35. Now I'm going to place it outside my window and you'll see the temperature dropping quite, quite dramatically now. So that's 29, 27, 26, and it will keep going to drop down and drop down and drop down. So yeah guys, this is, I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you very much for coming and having a look at this, at this experiment I'm doing. Also, I will be uploading soon different tutorials on Arduino. I think it's very easy and I have to. I have an Arduino Uno and Arduino Nano B3, which is, I use the B3 for all the prototyping and I use my Uno for when I actually have something working. So yeah. As you can see, the temperature is dropping quite dramatically. It's going to 22. And it will be dropping. Now, if I put my, my finger in it, see, you'll see the temperature going up. And you see that's 26. And then 27, 28. And it's against my hand. 31 and it will go back to 37 I see which is my temp my body temperature okay I had it all day on the outside and it was reading eight degrees as it was meant to and that was the challenge for today and I think it was completed so thank you guys very much for watching I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial please don't forget to subscribe because by every subscription to me means a lot that means I can make more and more and more and more and more videos that will you will enjoy okay also the microphone i'm using is one that i made and the quality of the sound as you can tell is pretty good and the this microphone was one pound or you could say 1.5 dollars or whatever you can say it's very cheap to make and i'm sure everybody can make it I come up with a solution that is magnificent. So if you want to know how this is done, don't forget to come back to my channel. Okay, so thank you very much guys and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.